Hello guys, you join me here on the launch pad today in another episode of Kerbal Space Program. We are launching another rocket today called Dawn Dusk. So without further ado, let's lift off here. It's a simple rocket that we're launching today. Uh, the, the aim of the mission, um, the science boys. Well, they were disappointed with our, our last mission, how they forgot to put the battery on. Um, it was their fault, of course. Uh, they forgot to put them on. They forgot to, to, to let me know that the, the rocket would need it. Um, but they have, they have redeemed themselves, they believe. And they've developed a pair of satellites. One called Dawn and one called Dusk. Um, using a, a different set of communication dishes that have up to 90 million meters. Instead of the last one which had 50 million meters. Uh, they hope that they can uh, achieve... Um, some kind of heliocentric orbit, uh, still remain in communication with the satellite, um, and also have enough power to actually do something with it. Uh, so we'll see. Hopefully, we have some uh, some science coming from um, coming from the the sun or in orbit around the sun. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I trust them, the science guys. I do trust them sometimes. I had a comment saying, uh, like, start your gravity turn earlier and such. Uh, the reason I start it at 13,000 um, is because at 13,000 you're out of the thickest part of the atmosphere. And that's like where you, obviously it being the thickest part of the atmosphere, you'll get the most drag, uh, you will experience the worst performance of your rocket in that uh, part of the atmosphere. Uh, so that's the reason why I wait till 13,000. So Mo I can spend all energy going vertical to get out of that uh, thickest part um, because basically if we start leaning over in that thickest part that's just wasted energy. Apple is still rising however we are in orbit so let's throttle down and let us lose these which I believe is custom 3. Excellent, excellent. Uh, let us deploy our solar panels which I believe is custom one look at that look at that I believe we're also on the night side which is a shame uh, however we'll be getting to the day side in the near future uh, we're gonna keep burning like this we have the fuel to waste really um, at the end of the day we are trying to get as high as we can with our orbit so we might as well keep burning here Let's activate our communications array, uh, which I believe is custom 2. Yep, those things have popped out. Uh, so we're going to point one of these at 240, the other one at 120. Uh, this guy, uh, we don't need any target for you quite yet. Um, but for now, you can point at... Uh, no, 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 it's fine. We don't need a target for you at all. Okay, good, good, good. Let's continue into space. Keeping an eye on our electric charge. Uh, if it does indeed get too low, we can just burn our engine to, uh, to increase it again. Um, it's not a huge deal, we're not going to be on the night side for too long, uh, but we are most certainly on the night side, so I want to at least keep that electric charge so we don't go past or have wapsis or something before we get a chance to circularize. Um, probably when it gets to around 40, like right about now, we should consider burning our engine just so that it at least stabilizes if not starts increasing, which it is slowly. So that's good. I'm happy with that. Pitch down to minus 20 here. Yeah, there we go. Our apoapsis won't run away from us now. Wiggly woggly in three. There we go. Never mind. A bit early. 
Okay, that stage is done, so let's jettison that. Light the next stage. Uh, we'll push our apoapsis to up about 200, I reckon. And we'll call it quits there. Okay. Um, charge wise, uh, it's going to be a dead satellite for a second, but we are in orbit. Uh, so we'll let it die. Um, it'll just go into sleep mode, hibernation, if you will. And then in three, two, one, there we go. Fully charged satellite, dawn dusk is is live. It's kind of a cute looking satellite. It's got little like ears or something. It kind of looks like a star in this kind of formation. I should have offset both of these. These two satellites are going to split. This one is dawn. This one is dusk. Uh, dusk will stay in orbit around the planet and communicate with uh, the main communication network. Um, and then its high gain uh, satellite, I suppose, will communicate with the high gain satellite here, which is on dawn, which will go into a heliocentric orbit. Um, so let's plan our escape here. So Kerbin is traveling in this direction. Um, I'm thinking we want to go to the inner satellite or the inner in the inner planet. Um, so if we set a maneuver now, it's kind of the perfect time to get into a into that kind of orbit because we'll be we'll be. Uh, taking away from our velocity around Kerbin, so we will go towards the inner part of the solar system. Which is a good thing, I reckon. It might be interesting if we can get interaction with another planetary body, but I don't think we will. No, that's probably not worth the effort. We just want data around or about uh, uh, the Sun or Kerbal. We're not too bothered about the other planets just yet. I mean, we like them and all, but the science guys, they have they have their mission for us and we will do our best to fulfill it. So that is 9945. If we burn more, that does get lower, but we do burn more. I think we'll just leave it at that. Um, it's estimating a burn of four seconds. I don't trust that. Let's go towards the node. Let's do a test burn of 100, uh, just a 1 or a 0.1 second test burn. Okay, we're getting a burn of about 3 minutes. Okay, so let's burn for uh, 3 minutes, which is what, 120, 180 seconds? Let's do that burn. Now we're getting a burn of 50 seconds. Okay. So let's change this to a 40 second burn. You can see the commander is currently being executed on the on the spacecraft in this part here. Um, whoops. So this is counting down to when it, the engine is going to shut off. You might be able to set it to be delta V. Burn 100% amount of seconds, and then it says about delta V. So that's interesting. Uh, eight. Let's get a 0.1 stop burn. Just ready. Uh, around about now. There we go, just so we can stop our burn. We had a few seconds left on that one, uh, but now we're good. Okay, um, that said, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> that was rubbish. Okay, what we need to do is decouple this here. Uh, this, actually, set this target to be, um, just one of the commsats quickly and let's decouple this here okay so this should still have communication yes it does okay what we want to do is uh, set this target as the dawn dusk probe which should be this guy okay we'll set this target as the dawn dusk probe which will be the other guy Okay, so now they should be communicating with each other, in theory. Um, this guy also has no connection. Why not? 
There's test weight. Uh, my satellites are 120, so it should have communication with 120. It should do. Uh, 120, let's switch to 120 real quick. Let's try and work this problem out. So 120, you're pointing at... Um, in fact, the easiest way to see this is here. 120 is pointing at the moon. Uh, okay. So let's point this at the active vessel. That should give us... Uh, actually, we'll go to 240 as well. Because we've also got 240 on communications with, with that satellite. Uh, so switch to 240. This is one of the interesting parts about... Uh, about... Uh, the satellite uh, comsat mod. Um, I can't think of the name anymore. Oh, remote tech. That's the name. Sorry. Uh, so that is already pointing out the active vessel. Okay. That's one of the interesting things. You have to set up a communication network, a lot like they would actually have to do in in a real space program. As far as I'm aware, I've never worked for a real space program. Um, so we have these. That's Susan. We don't want Susan. We want the Dawn Dust Probe. Okay. So... This is Dawn here. Uh, who is going to be around the sun. Around Kerbal. Um, so let us go rename vessel to Dawn. Okay. Now let's go back to Dusk and rename Dusk. Uh, rename Vessel to Dusk. Now my terrible mistake is that they are both on a Kerbin Escape, uh, which is most certainly not what I need. Uh, so that's pointing at Dawn, good. It has communication, which means Dawn then has communication. Okay, so Dawn we don't need to worry about. Dusk we do need to worry about because Dusk we do not want escaping from Kerbin. That was a, a really, really bad move on my part. Uh, so let's get up the flight computer here. Let's do a one second full throttle burn at retrograde. Uh, keep an eye on our resources here because we are going to run out of those eventually. Uh, let's do a 10 second burn. Oh, we've already run out of the resources. Okay, so let's stage. Wait, let's cancel that command. Uh, let's stage. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Jetson this. Activate the engine. Sh shoot. Okay, Dawn is on a... is on an escape, and we can't change that. can't change that because the engine is blocked. It's not changing our periapsis at all. Okay, the only only probe we can change here is Dusk. However, Dusk doesn't have the means to communicate with the rest of the communication network apart from uh, we can't switch to Dusk anymore. Dawn Dusk Probe, I don't care about you, that's the... the rubbish. Dusk. Dawn. Um... Dawn. Can I switch to Dawn, please? Damn it. Uh, we might have to go to the, uh... Space Center here. Now the only other option is something we're going to have to test real quick. Because um, Dawn will be able to uh, communicate with with the rest of the the network um, due to its uh, aerial on it here this guy, uh, but it only has a range of 500 kilometers, so it has to be at least 500 kilometers uh, with the other uh, other communication satellites. However, we're on quite a big escape here. If I could 
possibly rendezvous with one of the comsats. And then stick in within a 500 kilometer range. That could most certainly work. Or we can indeed bring ourselves back down to where it's more busy with the Kimu and, and the other Kimu and the test weight. Uh, cool that those can communicate with each other. Uh, it also has no connection. Why does it have no connection? That's pointing at dusk. Uh, space center? Hmm. I've got to make. I've got to stop making these stupid mistakes. Really. Uh, so dusk. Why? Why was dusk? Dusk has communication, right? Um, and it is communicating with dawn. Okay. Uh, dawn is 8.2 kilometers away already. How? We're not even past the moon's orbit yet, so... Because we, we do have another option. And it's a really terrible option. It's risky, and I don't even know if it will work. But I think it's a better chance than our other option, which is to get... Uh, ...in a 500 kilometer rendezvous. But why is dusk not even communicating? Or why is dawn not even communicating? That's what I want to know. Dawn should have communication here. But it does not. It has power. And it is pointing at dusk. Okay, let's go back again to the space center. We're going back and forth here. I think we can just do this from the space center. I think that's a lot easier. Or from the, the tracking station, even. Which I wish you could just access at any time. That would be really nice. Um, okay, so this is dawn and dusk here. So, yeah, I know what the problem is. Okay, so we need to um, point this at, instead of active vessel and active vessel twice, let's point one at dusk. Okay, so now it's going to communicate with dusk, and then uh, dusk is now in communication. Uh, dusk was in communication when we are on it because it was communica communicating with the active vessel, which Dusk was. However, when we swapped to Dawn, uh, Dusk wasn't the active vessel anymore, so it stopped communicating. Now, the thing we can do... Uh, time is ticking away, but the thing we can do is send up a manned mission and try and reattach the satellite or uh, remove the um, thing that's blocking the engine, the, uh, the procedural fairing that's blocking the engine. Whether a manned flight will be able to catch up, I don't know. Because they are on an escape trajectory. Uh, but we may, in theory, be able to rendezvous with them. Maybe. I honestly have no idea on that front. Okay, let's... Before we start thinking about whether we can or not rendezvous, we have to determine whether we can or not reattach the satellites. Uh, so let's go into the Kerbal Space, into the, the hangar here, um, and let's get a command pod, and just a simple fuel tank, just for good measure, um, a b -b -b ladder, or a couple of them, and we want to, okay, let us stick on this to the outside 
Okay, and stick on this. This is the, the procedural fairing base I have used. Uh, like that. Okay. That would be an interesting fairing right there. Anyway, uh, the other thing we need to stick on is one of these. Okay. Um, I'm going to save this just as an untitled vessel, um, and I'm going to get it to the launch pad real quick. Okay, we're on the launch pad here with Jebediah. Let's get Jebediah out on EVA. Now, with the Kerbal Attachment System, you have the ability to manipulate other objects while on EVA. Uh, whether it's going to work for these modded objects, I don't know. EVA force open. Okay, we can force it open. And we can also EVA set the target. However, we cannot uh, pick it up and, and uh, attach it to other vessels. So that's not an option. And we can't also uh, remove this. Okay, so that's not an option. We can't do that, unfortunately. Um, so that leaves the option of attempting a rendezvous. So let's go back to the Space Center. Um, and let's... We could always launch another spacecraft that will communicate with, uh, with Dawn. Uh, that's probably a better option, wouldn't you say? Uh, probably. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, um, clear the launch pad and proceed. Let us launch another, uh, Dawn Dusk satellite. Okay, we are just launching another guy here, uh, seeing how well it goes. Hopefully it will be okay. It is slightly wasteful to launch the same satellite again. Uh, we could have gone for, say, something cheaper, um, like just putting on the uh, part that goes into orbit around uh, Kerbin. However, we're not doing any kind of uh, monetary system, so it's no it's no big deal for our purposes. It's also bad because we still don't have use of the other satellite here. It's still going to be covered by that procedural fairing. Um, however, we have enough to get it into orbit with this stage, so it's not. It's not huge. Like I said, it's wasteful, but I mean, it's fine in the context of our uh, of our let's play here. I'm thinking in the next season we might uh, introduce some kind of uh, monetary system or at least some kind of penalty for being wasteful. Um, but we will have to see on that one. Uh, let's slow down and let us lose our fairings. This one, uh, solar panel and communications. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to point this one at 240. This one at. Uh, this one at. That's one at 240. This one at 120. Okay, this one we're going to point at dusk. And this one here, we're going to point at Dawn. Okay. Um, so this vessel is just called Dawn Dusk. That's fine. Let us go uh, to the Space Center so we can fiddle with our, uh, our communication network. Boom. Tracker station. Alrighty, uh, so let's get rid of that for now. Uh, Dawn, I want you to communicate with Dawn Dusk. Dusk, I want you to communicate with Dawn Dusk. Uh, 240, I want your spare one to be pointing at... Oh, I guess the active vessel's fine. Uh, zero, how about you? You don't have a spare one. Okay. 
So, 120? Yes, point at dawn dusk. Okay, good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, let us exit. No, nah, we shouldn't have exited that. We should have just uh, gone back to dawn dusk through this, because that's the only way to do it, really. Uh, dawn dusk, fly. Okay, um, so our resources are going down, again, uh, but we're not going to be on the night side for long because we waited longer to launch, slightly. Mainly because we were testing rockets. Uh, there we go, we have electric charge. Okay, let's wait till our periapsis and we can circularize. Or our, our apoapsis, sorry. In seven minutes. Okay, we're about one minute out. Um, it does have no connection, however. Uh, we got one pointing at. Got one pointing at 240. This one's pointing at dusk. Uh, so 240 is presumably behind the planet for us. Yeah, 240 is all the way down there. Hmm. That's an issue. And we're coming this way, and we're faster than it. So, we're not going to communicate until we get round down into a suborbital or subatmospheric now. Okay, uh, that's another issue. Ah, sh sh uh, I mean, we can technically change these, but that's kind of cheaty. I think for the sake of um, making a video, we're going to say if this if the ship has no connection, the satellites scan um, until they find a connection. I think I think that's fair. Otherwise, we're just going to have to launch another vessel. For the sake of gameplay um, and making a video, let's do it that way. Uh, so that was pointing at dusk, or is that one meant to be pointing at dawn? This one's pointing at dawn, so the other one pointing at dusk. Okay, good, 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 good. Right. So now we do actually have communication. I think, like I said, for the sake of a let's play, I think it's worth it um, to just kind of break break the bounds there. And in theory, anyway, I I personally believe that they would implement some kind of fail-safe system, whereas where if a satellite lost communication, it would scan for communication somehow, um, either by going through a list of satellites or by just sending out a ping and seeing what returns or something. I feel that would be something you would implement in your autopilot, right? I, I'm not crazy there, am I? Um, anyway, that's us in orbit here. Uh, so now we will have communication with uh, Dusk and Dawn. Um, we kind of do want to set up 120 to be able to point at Dawn Dusk. Um, we could set up the Kimu to point at dawn dusk because that's on a similar orbit uh, if we got 120 to instead point instead of pointing at active vessel I think we'll get 120 to point at dawn dusk uh, because we have 240 and uh, 0 pointing at active vessel so um, if you can see 120 you're going to be able to see one of one of these at least at least one more of these that's fine let's go back to the space center then uh, one last time, hopefully, let us uh, go to the tracking station, let us uh, go to 120, 120 has communication, so we can set this up anyway, um, it is pointing at dawn dusk, oh it was 240 wasn't it, that wasn't able to point at dawn dusk, because it also points at mission control. Um, so let's point that at Dawn Dusk instead of the active vessel, at least for now. Uh, again, we can change it if we need to. That's the whole communication network go for you. Um, and let's fly. Uh, Dawn is our actual rocket that is able to maneuver and has the science on it. So that's the one we want to fly. And we can always send the second Dawn out as well. Um, can we have a second one on the Dawn Dusk communication satellite? Okay. 
So resources, you have plenty of electricity, you have plenty of batteries. Uh, I guess it's just a case of waiting until you get to uh, curb and escape, really. On your way. Dusk is slipping into the into the distance. I wonder if we can see it. I wonder if we can see the planet. This is the furthest... well, it's technically not the furthest we will have been. Um, Susan went further. But then Susan, Susan was a failure, so there is that. Poor Susan. Um, still got time to periapsis. Minus 6,000 hours. 0.2 hours. Why 0.2 on everything? Um, okay, let's continue here. Still has communication. Um, it does lose communication every time dawn dust goes behind the planet. Not a big deal. I mean, um, things periodically lose communication all the time, so that's that's fine. I can live without that. I can live with that. Sorry. So, how long until your curb and escape? Eleven hours. Keep going here. Um, let us set dawn dusk. That's dusk. I want dawn dusk. So that's Susan. That's dusk still. It's Comsat Zero. I want Dawn Dusk as my as my target. This is one of the most annoying things about Kerbal Space Program is the the way you select the target. If there was just a drop down that said select this target, then that would work fine. But there isn't. Uh, Dawn Dusk, set as target, please. Dawn Dusk, set as target, please. Dawn Dusk. I can't even click on Dawn Dusk to set it as a target. Which is weird. It might be because it's on a different orbit to me, technically. Um, we can set... Uh, well, that doesn't make sense, because we can set this as a target. We'll set this as a target, just so we have an indication of how far away we are from uh, from our satellite. Kerbin down there, looking relatively tiny. That's the moon, I believe, just there. I don't see Minmus. Can we see it in the map at all? Oh, Minmus is going to be way, way away. Yeah, we're never going to see Minmus. It. Oh, actually, we can see that just a little blinky blink, just, just there. That tiny little blinking, I think, is Minmus. That's pretty cool. Um, I believe there's a telescope mod, which is interesting. That's something I will probably end up trying. Okay, we are out of communication. Uh, I'm worried about the communication because I can't see my distance to actual dawn dusk. Hmm, it's annoying. Cause we're now 63 million meters away, and we only have a range of 70. Whoops, wrong one. I think we only have a range of 70. Oh, we have a range of 90, okay. Even better. It might have been 70 for the other vessels. 90, or for the other satellite, even not vessels. Okay, curb and escape. Excellent, we are in a heliocentric orbit. Uh, let's send data as fast as we can, just, just in case we do end up losing communication. I mean, we will at some point. Um, but it may be sooner rather than later. So let's observe that mystery goo here. And let's transmit that data. That was 110, but we only got a little percentage of it. We got 44 data from that. Uh, observe this mystery goo. Uh, space high of the sun, goo feels right at home. Transmit that. Excellent. That's another 34 science. Material bay. Uh, 275 science. The high radiation environment causes as few of the samples to glow. It looks like it would be fun to paint the rocket with this. Transmit that science. How much did we get from this guy? 55! That's wonderful. Um, we can even keep transmitting as we, if we want, but I feel that's a bit cheaty. Um, can we get some anything from Mechjeb? No, we can't do like a, a fake crew report or anything. Excellent. So we are in orbit around... Uh, around the sun. Let us... Ok, 
Okay, let us fiddle here. This episode is probably running way, 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 way long. Uh, but let us fiddle here. Let's see if we can get any kind of maneuver that interacts with any other body. I, I highly doubt it. Um, but it's just worth having a gander. In fact, we're not going to bother. We're just going to point retrograde. Um, orbital retrograde. Uh, we've got 90 of liquid fuel. Let's open up this. Let's burn 100% uh, for 100 seconds. You can see the delay it took to get here too. We're nearly at a full second delay. Uh, which is interesting. In fact, we need to activate this engine here. There we go. Ooh wee. Okay, you're slightly, uh... Yeah, let's cancel that command. See? The signal delay? That's, that's really interesting to me. Okay, let's burn 60% because, uh... Because you wobbled quite significantly. Yeah. Nearly a full second delay. It's going to be really interesting when we go to Duna because we're going to have... If we're sending a robotic mission, we're going to have several seconds worth of delay. Um, and if we're using the flight computer like we should be, that's going to be really interesting to to try and do. Um, we're going to have to add a lot of fail-safes into our, into our landing system or something. So what's this doing for our orbit? Lowering our periapsis a lot. I mean, relative to the sun, is a lot, I suppose. Uh, let's see if we can go at time warp here. Physical time warp? Isn't there a way to do physical time warp? Yeah, alt. I just want to burn out my engine completely. At the end of the day, this is just Dawn's mission, is just to fly into the sun, or just fly near it. It's still burning. Hmm, that was interesting. Maybe because I hit shift? I don't know. Anyway, that is our engine burnt out. Let's cancel that command because there's no point sending it anymore. Uh, let's turn off smart ass. Excellent. Um, as we're we're still in range, let's do some more science here. Let's keep that data. Uh, observe the mystery goo. Keep that data. Observe the mystery goo. Keep that data. This is the this is that step we needed to unlock some more science. Uh, to to start unlocking better things. Uh, let's hit our aerial here and let's go. I can't just transmit from the aerial? Hmm, that's annoying. Okay, let us review the data and transmit. And review the data and transmit. And review the data and transmit. Excellent. Like I said, this episode is really long. Uh, let's quickly just go in and see what we can unlock in the Space Center these days with all the lovely science we have now. So much science. Um, and then we'll call it a day. Um, 235 science. Excellent. So, we can get our Kerber attachment system. I've been wanting that real bad. Real, real bad. Uh, this is for rovers and such, which will be interesting to have. This is our larger range. This is 60 uh, gigameters. Uh, another 60 gigameters here. Uh, so that will be useful to have. That's 300 science though. Um, the other part I want is docking ports. However, I don't think we have those available to us just yet. Uh, we do have another custom fairing thing. We have little uh, Little engines here, that would be useful to have. Uh, that's 90 science. This is 45. Where we get our keythane storage and a stack tricoupler. Both of those would be useful. Uh, this gets us another engine, the separatrons and the solid rocket boosters. Those aren't particularly necessary for us. Um, 
I'm thinking... Uh, just for the sake of unlocking something, we can unlock this. Uh, that'll get us more options, because we have the radial decouplers here. Uh, we have the launch stability, we have struts, stuff like that. Uh, we also now have access to more keythane stuff. We have access to mono monopropellant, uh, which is good. That's a keythane converter unit. Do we have a drilling unit? That's a question. Uh, we also have access to some other... There's a drilling unit here. Um, some other construction parts, which is good. Um, yes, but we have Keith, uh, the Kerbal Attachment System, which is what I've been searching for all my life here. Um, we're going to have so much fun in, that, in the next episode. Um, as always, thank you guys very much for watching, um, and I shall see you all next time.